do you think we can begin to make sure that people in authority, before they even get there, that they understand what personal finance is? Yes, we're not even saying, even after they are there, mm. they've been sworn in as governors who keep pushing as civil society organizations, NGOs, who keep pushing and say, yeah, it's training and retraining, seminar here and there, because we, at this time in our history, we cannot afford to fail. We can't have a debt of uh, almost 80 trillion naira and we are still smiling, we are still talking. Fine, renew hope, but we need to do the right thing. Mm. I'm very happy before I, I conclude. The incoming president has spoken about student loan. You know that indigenous students can go to school, go to university with that student loan. But we need the officials of that loan board to understand personal finance so that they don't just embezzle the money and the students are also taught that because when you are giving that credit to go to school you need to come out get a job or start your business make money and pay back that loan so that other students who are coming can also benefit from it mm. so that is also a renewed hope what about housing what, what look at the kind of county people live we need a functional mortgage system mm. where as long as you are working you take a salary you should be able to benefit from that mortgage scheme. What about the, the health management system? As long as you have an organization, five, seven persons, you need to register so that you take care of your workers. Right. So these are part of the renewed hope and a new Nigeria we can have, and it is possible. Thank you.